Agumi's run back with a saber, at least. Uh, Running wait. back versus the character. Now, there's always the question, especially if, uh, you know, depending on how quickly the bracket is moving. On one hand, the player in coming in from the winner side has not lost, so they got that going for them. They're in a good mood because they've not lost yet. Correct, yeah, but they've been doing very well tonight. the person coming from loser's side is coming off a relatively recent win streak. They're warm, and they're, you know, on the up and up because they've been winning. Yeah, both their confidence, uh, uh, both uh, their states of confidence must be high. Yeah, so the question has always been, okay, who is the more confident? Now, obviously, in a fighting game sense, where we run double elimination brackets, where you go true double Ooh. elim all the way, I would absolutely say the person in winner's side, because, you know, you mess up, you got a whole nother grand finals to go through. But I've also noticed in other games that take longer, good lord, the Sabres on low HP, and oh! Excellent hit coming out. This is a little dangerous. This is uh, not over. Link is a very momentum-based player, as you could tell. Uh, like, they will Ooh. get their comeback. Oh, re oh they could have aimed. We're ball. shielding! Oh, uh, maybe, maybe uh, Gumi was a little bit uh, concerned about because the last time they attempted to do a follow-up, they still got hit by 2-2-C. But unfortunately, Link's confidence is going to carry them through to victory. Nope, actually, I lied. It's not going to kill. I don't know if I agree with that. That, that was spinning up. Oh, never mind. Okay. I was about to say, look at the clock. We were down to seven seconds. About to say, that clock was about to run out. They had used all their meter. Was it worth it? But sure enough. But yeah, a thing I was uh, attempted to bring up, uh, other esports where things run longer, they have a really weird uh, relationship with the double elimination bracket. Like Dota, for example, they run double elimination all the way to the end, but there is actually no winner side advantage whatsoever. Oh boy, Mix. Oh my god, it's gonna put themselves in the corner. Woo. Plus frames, you gotta hold that. Good Shoot throw. Him. Excellent throw, in fact. Throws yeah. right back. Wake yeah. up throw. Wake up throw so again, low, though, DP. All it takes. One little kicky. It deep down, they are disrespecting each other so much. They're just playing air footsies and trying to win. Oh, fatal counter. All right, let's see. Got the butter, moon drive. Good throw. Good throw All right, catching them on the fall lag. Yep, Whew. shield gives them a BC route. Out. So they're going to get damage back in the corner. This one more touch hurt. after There's this. There's a ton of meter on the table. Yeah, Looking one more touch after heat. this is going to be uh, death right there. Whew. Oh, good moon DP. Doesn't follow oh, up on that it was again. scary. Moon, uh, Gumi, unfortunately. There it is, the and it backs out. Oh, no. I don't think that was an intentional bait, but like they did they did a preemptive backstab uh, to maybe look for a button, and it turned out to be heat, so that was a great punish, uh, punish opportunity from Link. Yeah, when you see your opponent low, they're on four bars, or even three bars. You know what's coming, but especially four bars, you know we're going to get in a really wacky situation. got to say, we'll never learn, we'll, because every time when a Sabre gets three bars, we're always just going to still swing, and we'll get hit by Avalon. It's inevitable. I mean, we're swinging. We're mashing. Oh, Fatal Counter. Doesn't get full damage, but it does get a knockdown, so we can get some stuff going. Woo. Yep. Gumi Not got quite right. a long enough button to take it. About to say, Gumi rightfully expects them to, like, wake up a uh, match Moo DP. That gonna get low knockdown. is so ridiculous. Oh, boy. It just reaches out. Take about half your health. Oh, they might have messed it up. Woo. They messed up the conversion. Plus frames. Quite half. Oh, the chip, nah, though. Panic Shield. Solid amount of chip coming out, and then a solid amount of actual damage. Doomy life, not looking too hot. There's the moon. Oh, jumps out and throw. All right, this time work. doesn't pan, doesn't do a shield back in the what air. What is with that kick? Is that an attempted setup that's like not working? Or uh, is that it's a, it's a decent anti-air, and it's a it can do a launcher and set up into Oki anyway. So okay. it's not really a bad choice. I'm just wondering, is that a I'm trying to catch something, or is that whoops? This was supposed to continue. No, Gumi definitely does 3C a lot intentionally in order to get like a, a, a potential punish or a potential hit. Uh, three, hit the hurt swing C is pretty fast. Okay, whoa. Oh boy. Let's see. Yep, they're going right back in. Again, Gumi playing very careful. It's a little Good scary. Blocking that low. It is so hard to land and then go right into correct blocking. Let's see. All right, yep. All right, looks like one more touch will do it because he's got three bars on deck. All right, wake up throw. throw. What's the Is he going to throw back? No. Oh, no. Wow, run up throw, though. Close enough. Oh, uh, that was a bait. Doesn't punish, though. Right, this is bad. Gumi's got to make this count. 
Lynx in that far. He's got to go in. He's got to go in. He's got to go in. Lynx styling on him. He can't let him style on him like that. Nope. Nope. To see, not dead, but it's going to be close. Well, not really. It's just well, yeah, like a half third minimum. was a far use, so it's not the full three bars at this point. Oh. The move drive's coming back, actually, for Dan. Yeah, Gumi's unfortunately leaving a lot of damage on the table whenever they get the hits. They're just doing throw punishes. At this point with this match, it is... Okay, 30 uh, seconds. Counter, that's uh, it. Yep. Okay. Link and Drago. Round number two taken. Wow. So that's going to be it. Right. That could potentially be it for grand finals next game. Game three. Here we go. Gumi's got some adjustments that need to be made. Oh, boy. Yeah, Gumi's Drago. mental stack is hitting, is hitting hard. Let's clean it up. Lots of stabbies. Let's see, yeah. I, I feel like the adjustment Gumi could be making is one, the need to, uh, they are getting aggressive, uh, but they honestly, I think Dan uh, has a little bit easier route by just staying in the mid range, uh, not being too crazy, and not pursuing him in the air because JC is a big problem. Uh, oh, big damage. Not big damage, I lied. Bro, dash back. Move drive to dash back was actually probably the best move there. I agree, because it's possible that Link was going to do another move. There we go. Ah, oh, gets a throw. All right, very lucky. Oh, it's a safe. It looks like a safe jump setup. That's what it is. That's what that's what the 3C is. It's a setup. There we go. Lock stringing. All right, one more straight hit. One more straight hit. Oh, but again, the JC. Link for Gumi. You didn't specify it. Now Gumi's suffering, and it's all your fault. Wow, one more round, and that's going to be it. Look at that sliver of health. Link Pendrago oh. really coming in clutch there. These Saber players are coming out from the brink. Uh, they're coming out of nowhere, and then they're coming back with, like, no health. This happened quite a bit tonight where we received, like, glorious comebacks. Whew. Chopping them up. Gumi, last round ah, of the to tournament, the potentially. Oh, this is so bad. They've got, got full to work he... with. You gotta make the right call. Good jump. Oh, that's a punish. Okay. Oh. And they got only gets a hit. So much damage gotta be on the careful. table. Don't do a wacky shield. Please don't do a wacky shield. Yeah, Gumi's gotta be on top. Do something intelligent, please. Smarter right, than yep, I got. Yep, yep, yep. Good, good, good. Get your life back. That's it. You got a super to work with. Uh, that might not be it. No. Mm, oh, think... what's about? That, is that a reset? It's, it's something. That's the best. Oh, oh my gosh, this is actually really Gumi, intense. please. Yeah, but Gumi knows Avalon's on the table. He can't do anything too crazy. Look, Avalon's on the table. We got Moon, we got Moon Drive. That's something. Time is that. Breakfast time might at be Tiffany's, 43 a seconds, one bar. There are tools. Gumi needs to hit them to start making stuff happen. Oh, man. Oh, no. no. This is oh, it. Spaghetti. All and right, the throw. throw. Okay, that's something. He. There it is. That's it. Yeah, because it yeah, visualizes the was a button. Oh, they don't even need it to happen. We don't even have to see. The fist bump was actually the final move that of the match. That was all we needed tonight. And Link Pendrago is the champion, representing Sabre players, representing Pad players, and representing, what was it, at the, end of, at the end of the day, someone has to. Goodness gracious, we don't see Sabre often, so to yeah. see, to so see Sabre three winning. Sabre, yeah. Sa tonight was the night of Sabre. Sabre's really showing out and like, hey, our character's pretty good. We're pretty good. We're good enough to take Ws. We're good enough to take what? Two out of top four? Yeah, but Rin is better. Woo. I've been fantastic. Have a great Jeez. rest of your evening in Melty Blood. Take care, everyone. All right. Yeah. Have a 